Hi everyone, today I will be doing a video on the craft paper insert by Midori which I used as a traveller's journal when I went on holiday this year. Uh, for the sake of the video I've already taken it off its elastic band um, but I just shoved it back in here because I wanted to show you how nice and chunky it got while I was away. There was a lot of overhang and stuff like that. Um, so let's crack on. So I left the first page blank because we're going to write something on that. Um, the first day we were there you'll notice the bit about day four that the layout and everything completely changes this is me trying to make it look like other people make theirs look on the internet and try and make it look pretty and this and that and the other and I don't like this layout at all um, by about day four or five you'll see it change and I get into the swing of things and it looks very much um, how I like it and what I would consider to be my style so I just used my Signo pen date stamp, I used diary stickers, um, did a bit of doodling, there's some washi tape, um, I used my LG printer to print the photos out, um, I did take my tortoise on holiday, he was very poorly before uh, we went, he actually had to have an operation on his back leg and um, he had to take a very long and very strong course of antibiotics which... Uh, we had to inject into his neck alternating sides every third day um, so he had to come on holiday with us so his health is the of the most importance and, and, and that was another good reason why we went on holiday to my grandma's this year he got full use of her garden as well um, we grow him weeds at home but you know she has an abundance of them her garden's huge he's a very old tortoise he's been in our family since my mum was a child and he was at least 10 when they bought him um so we think he's about 60 which in tortoise years is nothing but to us he is an old man and um what's nice about it is he used to go on holiday to my nan and granddad's caravan um when my mum was growing up so it was nice to be able to take him on holiday with me because I look after him now he's like a family heirloom it's hilarious <laughs> um, and his name is Sebastian so as I said the first day I was kind of trying to find my feet I don't like this there's a quiz and um, there was a barbecue and like a sports day on the green where my nan and granddad live the um area they live in the majority of people are retired and they call themselves the silver surfers and they uh, organize days out and um, little parties and things like that is brilliant and uh, this was loads of fun we nearly won the quiz nearly <laughs> beaten to it the second day Saturn was visible from um, just above the horizon if you the moon was kind of here and Saturn was down here now we ordered a telescope to be delivered to my um, oh sorry grandmother's house and um, it's not a fantastic telescope but I'm not a professional. Um, I wouldn't even call myself an amateur. I just enjoy looking at the sky and if I find something in the process then brilliant. If I don't well hey ho I can see some stars. Um, but we found Saturn and it was so exciting because um, I can't navigate to save my life I don't have any of that equipment you can get little magnets and all of these things I don't have any of that so I literally was just walking around with the telescope at one point just aiming it hoping to see something and we saw lots of different things we uh, went out in the garden pretty much every night um, to you know that it was clear to to try and find um, different constellations so I just decorated with some um, sticky black rhinestones there's my white pen again washi tape LG photographs date stamp and this is just a pencil sketch um, I tried some fancy handwriting here um, it's not my forte 
uh, date stamp again, diary stickers, bit of washi tape. We went to um, a little bit of beach which we call Maginadelphia, it's just our last names mashed together. And um, I made a pack lunch because it's a very long walk. And what's nice about this bit of beach is it's it's relatively private because um, most people can't be bothered to walk there because it is a long walk. Um, you s sort of see people coming and going through like the field and all of that but I've never seen anybody on the beach when we've been there and we go there quite often. Um, so I made a pack lunch, there was this weird little bird so I just used a diary sticker he was just bobbing along the sea front um, where the waves were and it was really funny because he like hopped so I just sketched him in. Um, I finally learnt how to skim stones properly and I managed to skip two stones six times um, one after the other and I was so happy. <laughs> um, so we got that saved, um, sorry we snapped that. There was uh, some chamomile, loads of mushrooms. Um, I took a photo of this. I don't actually know what it's called. I'm calling it like a sea cabbage. I have no idea what it's called. It's really pretty though. The leaves were like pink and purple. And I have a photo on my camera, which I'm filming on, which is much more uh, vivid than this. There's a feather. Um, which I just sketched and stuck in with washi tape. I have a watercolour of some really pretty flowers that I saw um, next to some chamomile. I haven't finished it yet though, but when I do I'll stick it in and probably show you just those pages at a later date. You can see it's still quite sparse. Um, this day was a beauty day. Um, my grandma knows somebody who whitens teeth and she's a beauty therapist. So she came and I look miserable in this photo, it's horrible, but I was actually really happy. Um, I squint terribly when the sun's out because uh, it hurts my eyes. But anyway, I had my teeth whitened and then later on uh, we went for a walk and had some burger and chips. As long as I didn't have any ketchup or anything, I was allowed to eat pretty much anything I wanted. Again just printed a border on um, the LG photo. We went to Clacton, got some 3D stickers here. It was really hot this day, it was lovely. Um, we had ice cream and chips and it was just nice. There's this really pretty like gazebo type thing um, near the seafront which is a permanent fixture. I don't actually know what it's called, but it looked very like Asian style um, kind of build. It was beautiful, so we got a photo of that. Um, and this is where it sort of changes. There's, yeah, um, had ice cream again because I love it. I don't eat a lot of this stuff in my day to day life, so when I'm on holiday, I see it as you know. We're having a good time. Let's go crazy with the ice cream. These are rub -ons. Um I don't know. Can you see the shine on them? Just there. Um, which I picked up from a craft shop in Clacton. And then this is just my handwriting. Um, some more diary stickers. I just wrote on the um, photograph with a pen. And just quickly I'll tell you that the pen... I use is just I used throughout this whole book is a jet stream uniball in 0 0.7 and um, it's a rollable and it's permanent which is brilliant so this day we went to the tattoo studio and um, I've been there loads of times the guys in there are really really lovely and um, helpful I wasn't going for a tattoo though uh, this time I went to get my ear pierced and I had it pierced in two places at the same time um, because I couldn't make my mind up and basically he said to me listen I can do both of them and I'll knock a tenner off for you and I thought wicked let's go for it because in London for just one of these it costs more 
than what it cost me to get both of them done together. So I will say one thing, I have a lot of piercings. Um, this is by far the most awkward. I have the other side of my ear pierced here and I think because I got this done with it, that's what making it so awkward. I still can't sleep on that side um, without causing pain and that was uh, pierced on the 4th of September so but I have I've, I know from experience and I have read it that those type of piercings through cartilage can take up to a year to heal so I'm just keeping it clean uh, we went to get pie and mash um, we went to the pier you can see the pier in the background it was actually really funny because my granddad went for a walk up there and he called us and we were waving to each other and it was a lot of fun and you can see I'm just sort of randomly sticking stuff now. I don't care whether it looks neat or not. Um, we then went... So the next day we went on a really, really long walk. And this walk is... Um, you sort of have to walk to here, which is a long walk in itself. And then this is further, much further on. Um... And it stunk, all this bit just here absolutely stunk, like that walk, which was quite far, it was like a 15 minute walk. Um, and then once we kind of got to this old bunker thing, it didn't anymore, and this walk was brilliant. I was going to draw a little thing down here about it being really private, and I haven't yet, because I don't really know what to. Um, just a picture, diary sticker, Ooh, there's a swear word, so I'll cover that up try to um puffy stickers another diary sticker we saw a beetle on the wall on the way back and i doodled him um we took a photo of him and everything um there was nobody on this beach nobody and the hot we'd never been there before we'd been told that there were seals and uh unfortunately this time we didn't see any um but it was just nice to 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 get there apparently people in the summer go there and get naked um, which is that's absolutely fine if that's your thing it's not mine so I was nature spotting um, that evening we went to a local pub and um, had some dinner and I don't know if you've ever seen a program called the League of Gentlemen um, it's really funny and there's um, a couple who own a shop and they're always saying about how it's a local shop for local people. Well, this is how that pub felt. It was a lovely pub and the staff were nice, so I'm not, you know, being horrible. But we felt very uncomfortable there by the, um, the, the local people. Uh, we were stared at basically all night and yeah <laughs> it, it was just peculiar um but the food was really nice next day we went to harridge we walked in there um it's a nice walk it takes takes quite a while if you go along the coast which is what we do um there had been some grenades found on the beach on the way to Harwich and they had to sign up saying you know if you find anything that you think is an explosive please contact the coast guard and I of course being me had to make a joke so bent over <laughs> and took, uh, had that photo taken there's really nice lighthouses this one was restored um, had some fish cakes and chips um, my granddad makes the best chips in the world and um, yeah, I love them. Whenever I go to see him, he always makes them for me. Uh, this is my granddad. This is my nan having dinner that evening. I was really tired and I had one of my sleep teas. And I've just put um, the, oh, what they call diary stickers of cups on the bottom. This was the package my tea came in and it still smells, which is really nice. I use silver pen up here, so... There you go, motorcycle run. Um, every year, this was the 7th, they do a motorcycle run in Harwich to raise money for um, Essex Air Ambulance. And my granddad is a biker. He has been 
since he was like 16, 17 and he's had so many motorbikes since I've been um, alive <laughs> and his current one is a Triumph Daytona I think yep and uh, we've been to this the last couple of years unfortunately we haven't ridden uh, it's like taken part in it because I've been on well and my granddad's been on well but we're hoping to do something next year and, but it's amazing, there's so many bikers and there were a lot of girl bikers this year, much more than I saw uh, last year, so that was brilliant. And it rained, um, <clears throat> it rained last year too, there's the mare, they all wave in the, the bikers and um, there's me and my granddad when it started to rain, he put a bag on his head and this is our favourite bike, so I snapped a photo of him next to it. Um, a lady approached me in the crowd when I was looking at uh, motorbike lessons and she gave me her uh, her and her husband's business card because they specialise in teaching women how to ride so I'm looking into learning to ride. Um, my granddad would teach me but his bike scares the life out of me and um, yeah. I just, I don't know, <laughs> I he, he's a very good biker, I do feel very safe on the back of a bike with him, but um, he he sort of is into the more racy side of things, whereas I just want to learn how to ride normally. Um, I cooked that evening chicken and treats, so and we watched uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, which I have a photograph of, and I'll stick that in later. This is Rob on again. Um, and puffy stickers we went to the premier room for a couple of nights and we just had a breakfast which i sketched and um we went for a walk and there was this lovely little bookshop on one of the back roads that um it says if you are out of if we are out of the shop please push money through the letterbox if you see a book but have come out empty pocketed please feel free to drop the money through the door when you were next passing happy reading and i had a shelf of books which i just thought was really really nice and you don't see stuff like that in london because people generally speaking aren't trustworthy um there's loads of things like this, like honesty boxes where my nan and granddad live so people will leave eggs and they'll say please take eggs and, and leave some money and yeah. This is just a leaflet from a cinema there called the Electric Palace and it's a really beautiful cinema um, and it's got an old fashioned box office and everything and this is literally their, their screenings and they do... Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the odd Thursday, and that's it. Um, we didn't go because I actually wasn't aware of it until we physically walked past it. But next time we, we're we going to go, I've got a photograph of the old ticket um, booth, which I'm going to stick in here later. More ice cream, best ice cream I've ever tasted, and that's saying something because I love Cornish ice cream. But this was out of this world, excuse me, I'm just getting comfortable, um, taxi uh, card from the taxi driver, uh, this is just a map of, sorry about the glare, so my nan and granddad live down here somewhere, oh there we go, and we walk all along the coast right into Harwich and around and this is this is this bit where the majority of the thing is like the cinema and all of that stuff do look up Harwich it's a very historical um, place um, most of the goods that we order from overseas that come over on ships will come to Harwich and Felixstowe and that's where they're unloaded. Um, there's a lot more history which I won't get into now but uh, it's just a really nice place. That night we went for dinner. Day two, I haven't done like, you know the other days have each been separated quite obviously. 
because we were still away I just separated it with some wood effect washi tape and um, we went to Stour Estuary and had a long old walk uh, see if I can show you this we started here and we walk all the way here and all the way here and then all the way back again and that walk on its own is over two hours long this walk we timed about an hour and a half hour and 45 minutes so we three five, six, seven, just over seven hours worth of walking and I was wearing sandals because I am an idiot and I kept treading on um, sweet chestnuts because I'm also blind <laughs> um, there's a leaf that I stuck in this was really beautiful um, the we were in one particular part of the woods and the wind blew and it sounded like it was raining and it was just all these leaves falling down and obviously I've seen leaves fall before but never anything like this it was stunning and um, I had to grab one and stick it in there this is us when we got halfway through our walk um, there's a happy tree it looked like it was smiling we saw loads of butterflies um, so I sketched one we went for dinner that night as well and had a bottle of wine this is just our room card uh, the next day again just separated because the morning was spent there we had a barbecue in my nan's garden um, and everybody came and um, me and my granddad cooked all the food and one of my nan's neighbours made um, homemade baileys which was lovely if not a little bit strong <laughs> um, that was that and then that was the 10th and this is the 13th because on the 11th and 12th I wasn't very well and we didn't do much we just went into Clacton to play um, uh, the penny machines because my nan enjoys doing that and I always try and win her some little cheapy toys out of there so our last day was eventful um, we went on a very long walk again to that private beach and we tried to get further to see the seals. Um, unfortunately we mistimed the tide and it was still far too high to cross over. These are just um, journaling cards. It was really windy but really hot to begin with. Um, I always doodle on the beach, I just grab a stick and doodle away and as we were walking we stumbled across this but it was covered a lot more in sand and it looked quite dangerous so we called the coast guard and the coast guard game came out with the police and even the police thought that it looked dangerous and then one of the um, policemen decided to just poke it with a stick and he was like oh it's fine pulled it out of the sand and thank whoever that it was fine because that was really silly. It could have been really dangerous. It turned out to be an old car park. Um, but what we were concerned about is, is children, if they played there, or dogs, or, or whatever, people walking their dogs. It, it could have turned out to be very dangerous, because that's what had happened on the beach further up. Um, so better to be safe than sorry. And we got to keep the car park. And then I just wrote goodbye beach in the sand and snapped a photo of it. And that was my diary, I well, journal. I really enjoyed doing it. Um, please don't think that I religiously sat down every night and and completed it page by page, day by day, uh, because that's a very daunting thing to do, especially when you're trying to enjoy your holiday. You don't want to then take away from the spontaneous side of things or and you know just enjoying yourself. So what I tend to do, or what I did when I was away, is if I couldn't be bothered to write, I wrote down on post-it notes just the highlights and stuck them on the page. And there was a good few pages in there. I might not write for a couple of days and then go back to it. Um, and that made it more enjoyable for me, so definitely do that. Um, and just do it in your style. I really wish I would have done the first couple of pages just however I wanted to. But I know that for next time now. Um, I'm actually going to do December Daily in a craft folder which I have ordered from Monique um, from Morgan Le Fay on Etsy. And 
I will share that with you as well as a um, update on my setup in my Midori. Uh, yeah, so all I used was washi tape, rhinestones, pictures, um, pamphlets that I picked up, a couple of journaling cards, and that was it. You really don't need anything fancy at all, and I love it, and I'm so glad I did it, and it will be archived um, to look through. I might decorate the front, I might not at the moment, it's not bothering me, I like it. Just the way it is, all dogged and lovely and thick. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that this may have given you uh, some inspiration or that it's encouraged you to start your own travelling journal. Um, I didn't go abroad. I went to Essex. I've never been abroad because I'm petrified of flying. Um, I will be going to Paris next year. But just because I haven't gone anywhere exotic um, doesn't mean that I can't document it. And uh, I used to feel like because I'd, I hadn't gone anywhere amazing that I couldn't um, document it because it wouldn't be as nice as somebody else's. But my holiday was amazing to me. I had a really good time. Um, so make it your own and just do what you want and enjoy it i hope you enjoyed this video as always any questions let me know any suggestions let me know and